Hey guys, Joe from Real Talk, and today I'm going to be going through the 1995 film of Batman Forever, directed by Joel Schumacher, produced by Tim Burton, starring Val Kilmer, Tommy Lee Jones, Jim Carrey, Chris O'Donnell, and Nicole Kidman. The plot of the movie revolves around Harvey Dent, aka Two Face, in an attempt to kill Batman. He fails, but vows to complete his revenge after blaming him for having half of his face burned by acid. Meanwhile, Bruce Wayne meets one of his employees, Edward Nigma, and sees how he's working on a new project for mind reading. However, Bruce Wayne disagrees with this plan and says that it's too extreme for its citizens to use. Edward Nigma is shocked by Bruce Wayne telling him his idea is too crazy. He then vows to have revenge on Bruce Wayne and everyone else who's calling him crazy. The Riddler then meets up with Two-Face and the two agree to end Batman together. The two attempt to steal money in order to create a new device based on Edward Nigma's designs to manipulate all of Gotham to find the true identity of Batman. Batman, played by Val Kilmer, falls in love with Nicole Kidman's character. As the two spend time together, they go to a circus performance by the Flying Graysons. There, Harvey Dent ends up killing Dick Grayson's parents, and Bruce befriends the boy. Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson eventually meet to terms and become Batman and Robin in order to stop True Face and the Riddler. R. What's that stand for? Robin. Riddler and Two-Face can make a pretty lethal combination. I figured you could use a hand. Two against two are better odds. I can't promise I won't kill Harvey. A man's gotta go his own way. A friend told me that. Not just a friend. A partner. Two-Face and the Riddler eventually capture Robin and Bruce Wayne's lover and give Batman a choice on which person he wants to allow to live. Batman saves both people, but also leaves the Riddler in shambles. Two-Face then tries to take matters into his own hands and tries to kill Batman himself. Batman throws coins into the air and confuses Two-Face. He then falls to his death. The Riddler, now dazed and confused and mentally unstable, goes to Arkham as the newest patient. Nicole Kidman's character comes over and asks the Riddler who Batman is, and the Riddler goes insane and says he's Batman. She then tells Bruce Wayne that his identity is safe. So guys, that is my review of Batman Forever, and it was a huge mess in my opinion. But when I look back on it now, it seems like Joel Schumacher tried a little more in that movie than Batman and Robin, but the movie was still unsalvageable, and I thought that the performances were over the top, and... Val Kimmer as Batman wasn't terrible, but Chris O'Donnell as Robin was just absolutely annoying. And so I give the movie a 5 out of 10. I thought the movie is fun to see maybe once in the theater, but after that I wouldn't go back and watch it for fun because I found it to be very frustrating as far as plot and characters go. Please comment below what you thought of the movie. Leave a like if you can. Also guys, check out my other Batman reviews on this page and look forward to a lot of new other new Batman reviews coming up as well. Guys, it's been Joel from Real Talk. Go watch some movies.